These pieces of art may look authentic, but tonight the Department of Justice says the men behind them are frauds, posing as indigenous artists and making money in the process. This is pretty small. I mean, these guys are just, they're small fry who are just trying to survive. Matthew Steinbrook owns old, Raven's Nest Treasures in Pike Place Market. He buys and sells Native American artwork, has for 30 years. He also admits to buying pieces from the two men that now face federal charges. Do you feel like it's your responsibility to verify if the artist is in fact indigenous? Well, there's no way for me to do that. Steinberg is not being charged by the Department of Justice, though the two artists are. Court documents show that 52-year-old Lewis Rath of Maple Falls and 67-year-old Jerry Van Dyke of Seattle are both accused of violating the Indians Arts and Crafts Act by misrepresenting themselves as indigenous artists, despite having no tribal membership or heritage. Doing so is a federal crime. It is a big deal when somebody steps into that space, occupies that space for indigenous peoples and then exploits that space. Indigenous rights lawyer Gabe Galanda says it's an issue that Native American artists have faced for a century, while charges at any level are rare. It's immoral and unethical to hold yourself out as indigenous when you're not. It is not necessarily illegal, however. It is, however, illegal to hold yourself out by way of your art as an indigenous artist when you are in fact not. Back to Pike Place Market. And Steinbrook says his shop has featured more than 100 indigenous artists over the years well, yeah, and admits that totally most of the time he takes them at their word. They weren't totally honest. Um, they, and I didn't, uh, I should have been more insistent on, on that. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.